Then what are you doing this for? To be wanted, to get close to it happening one more time. The wick is almost out of feelings. All I want is for the candle to glow rather than curse the darkness. It's not going out, Oscar. Not yours, not mine. But I still have hope that out there somewhere we'll find the right lamplighter. You know, we just used so many metaphors, I forgot what the hell we were talking about. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. You gentlemen here for the seminar? What seminar would that be, sir? Life. Does it really have to end? Dr. John Boxer. I'm 84 myself. Dr. Boxer sees no reason why I shouldn't be around to celebrate the year 2020. Maybe longer. Seminar ends tomorrow. But I have to get back to my home in San Molina. Celebrate my daughter's 63rd birthday. Oh. San Molina? Yeah. That's where we're going. Well, fancy that. You, you gentlemen need a lift? They tell us it's a five-hour drive. You come with me, I'll have you there in less than two hours. Oh. We leave at 6 a.m. on the dot. 6 a.m.? Sounds great to me. That's a little early for me. You'll never live a long life sleeping late. Hey, how about this? How about that? Probably gets two blocks to the gallon. Hello, sir. Glad to see you both could make it. Climb in, boys. Thank you very much. You certainly are prompt, sir. There are only four of these left in the country, and I own them all. Oh, you're a collector. No, I use the other three for parts. Oh, well. Hang on to your hats, boys. <laughs> Is this as fast as it goes? It takes a few minutes to warm up, and then we ride like the wind. Than us. Actually, we're doing 85 right now. No, I think that's your clock, sir. It says 825. Oh, well, don't mind that clock. It always breaks down. Uh -huh. uh, tell me, no offense, but do you really think that we can make San Molina in two hours? Who said that? You did last night. No, no, no. I think you misunderstood me. What I meant was I could make this five hour trip seem like two hours. Take in the scenery, relax, enjoy being alive and well. Doing that, I actually made it back once in an hour and 20. <laughs> Excuse me. The scent of the trees and the flowers always intoxicates me. Oh, if you're intoxicated, I'd be glad to be the designated driver. No, 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 I'm fine. Why are we stopping here? Uh, hello. Are you all right? Jesus. I, <laughs> I think he's asleep. Why? When was he awake? All right, move him aside. I'll drive. Move him. What are you waiting for? He'll wake up and then the snails will start passing us. No, he won't wake us. He's dead. Dead? How can you tell? No heartbeat and no pulse means dead. I've seen that in the hospital. 
Seen what? All you did was read books and tell jokes. What the hell do you want me to do, Oscar? An autopsy? I'm telling you, the man is dead. At least he went quickly. You call 12 miles an hour quickly? Oh, my God. Pull his head back in before a bird sits on it. Oh, jeez. I knew it. I strained my neck. It always happens. Always? You mean whenever you try to pull a dead body back in? Oscar, get out of the car, push his head back in. I can't move. Ah! Hey, this guy is starting to decompose already. His hairpiece blew off. Go get it. Why? He's dead. Who does he got to look good for? Out of respect. Maybe his family never knew. Now just go get it. Keep an eye on him. Felix! Huh? It's not a hairpiece anymore. Now it's a nest. Well, shoo him away. Shoo! Shoo, shoo! Shoo! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Shoo! Hey, where'd he go? He's on my lap. On your lap? Ah... Uh... That's not a good position, because it looks like... I know what it looks like. Now, help me pull him up. Uh, all right. Ah. Easy, easy. What the hell was that? Well, it sounded like a gunshot. Maybe it's hunting season. What kind of animals would they have around here? Hmm. Wow. You believe this? Get out and get that. You know, in the last three minutes, I've walked more than we've driven today. I didn't do it, he did. I'll check his pulse again. Here, you take it. I don't want to put it on his head. What are you doing? Well, I gotta get his name and address, don't I, so I can tell his relatives. This should be very interesting. Don't you know you can't stop in the middle of the road? Pull the vehicle over, please. Well, in order to do that, we'd have to move the driver, and as you can see, he's, uh... Is he sick? No. Is he drunk? No. Try dead. How'd this happen? We don't know. We think that God just came down and took him. I'm gonna have to ask you two to step out of the vehicle. 